Okay, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make a ball bounce. First of all, we need to take the rectangle tool and we're going to make a bottom. And we're going to label that layer bottom. Then we're going to need a new layer and we're going to call that ball. And then we are going, I'm going to change the fill now and then I'm going to get the oval tool. I'm going to make a circle and if you want to keep it like in a absolute circle shape just press shift and I'm also going to convert to symbol which you left click on the mouse and press convert to symbol and I'm going to call it ball and voila you have that now I'm going to in order to make it bounce up and down I'm going to make sure I want to have my bottom in that, so I'm going to press F6, and I'm going to run it out to there. And then I'm also going to run my ball all the way out to that spot, too. So it starts out here, Now I'm going to go to, uh, like, a little bit after the 5, and I'm going to press F6. And so then it's going to start here, and I'm going to move the ball down here. And then I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to press F6 again and I'm gonna bring it over here then F6 again bring it down then just keep on repeating that till you get to the end of it except for I forgot to move that one so we'll move that up down and back up again now, I also want to transform these a little bit, so like when this hits the ground, I'm going to press the free transform tool and I'm going to bring it down a bit. So like it's hitting the ground. And then it goes over here and it's normal size again. Let me bring it back down and I don't know why this isn't working, but whatever. Then we're going to go like that, make it smaller. Then bring it up again, down again, make it smaller, not that small. Put it down on the ground, and then top again. Then I'm also going to add in a motion tween. So you just left click on the mouse and press create motion tween. So now let's just see how that worked out. Alright, it looks alright, so if you want to actually see it moving, press Control enter And you have a bouncing ball. And I guess that's it.